Hi, good afternoon or good evening or good morning for some of you which is uh, dialing in from the US. So thanks for joining our webinar sessions. And for today's session, we're going to share about managing your rental properties like a pro. So in this webinar today, I have invited Joe. He is one of our uh, co-founder of an app called Landlord123. So he will be sharing with us about what makes um, rental of uh, properties can you can do it like a pro. And let me introduce, um, just share some introduction about Joe. Okay. So uh, Joe, he has been um, a property investment. He has been in property investing for about more than 20 years. And what he has been doing is he has been investing in properties in several countries. And based on his experience in this property rental market, it actually helps him to learn a lot about um, property renting. So I'm going to pass the mic to Joe and Joe will share with you how you can be managing your property like a pro. Hi, thank you, Yong. Hi. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, start to say good morning, good uh, evening, and good afternoon to all of you again who participate. Thanks for your time. Uh, thanks for the introduction. And I hope I can really help to share my use case, you know, in the past 20 years, you know. So um, it is part of the reason why we uh, created the startup, you know, uh, for Landlord123. Uh, because, I mean, uh, uh, people around me, myself, you know, that uh, has been investing in the market. So we found that there's, a, I mean, I would say a critical needs, you know, for us to really how to manage the property if you want to be really a long-term uh, professional investor in this area. In a way, it is always, uh, you've got two main category, I would say. So the, the biggest category would be the people like, you know, I mean, the, the real estate managers, you know, the, the estate fund, you know, I mean, the big boys, I call it, you know, they may got a block of commercial buildings or even uh, hundreds of the properties. So these are the people people who are really, uh, really well equipped with a lot of systems, you know, and then also uh, uh, people to help them. That is the key thing that they mean they make them even, even can grow uh, into a different dimension all the time because they have, they can leverage a lot of stuff. So if you look back into people like mm -hmm. us, you know, we manage the property, you know, maybe, I mean, a lot of people like us down to earth from the start of buying one properties and then three years, you got another properties. So you got another six year, another properties. You, you keep growing for the past 20 years. But however, uh, if you got one, it's easy to manage. Or when you could come to two or three or four or five or six, even to 10, you start to find a lot of problems that you're going to face. How are you going to manage it? You know, because it should be the headache. So, I mean, that would be a, a something that like a loot block for you to even go further to expand this rental business, you know, the property become your real business like a pro. So that's, that's a key, key problem that we, we are facing today. Yeah. So. Okay, I can share some of the things that with you uh, next. So uh, I, I would I would also say the entire uh, managing experience, you know, for rental properties is split into three main segments, I would say. The protect, protecting, and then you have uh, managing, then you have profiting, okay? Protecting is where is that, I mean, just like investing into stock market or any asset class. If you can't even protect your base asset or your capital, you're making a loss. So you can't even profit from it. So the main important thing is every time you need to protect, I mean, your properties while and whenever you go into this business. So you got to be very careful on that. So the second will be managing, like I say, you know, for one property, two property, not until you got 10 properties, you know, you got a lot of things to handle, to be honest, a lot of things. So all these things can be uh, really become part of the, the problem that, that really change your lifestyle, that make you to reconsider whether you still want to be in this business or not. So because we are individual, I mean, the landlord, or maybe uh, a small, 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 uh, small skill investors. So for five to 10 properties. And of course, the most important eventually is how do you profit from it? So from my experience, even how good you are to choose certain properties, you know, you may still got some bad properties portfolio and some good, you know, but how do you make an, uh, an average to profit from it? So the bad one, do you have any chance to really uh, sell it into increased capital in the future? Or you had a cut loss in a way? So sometimes the, the good one, how do you extend and maximize the profit from it? But you got to have like a lot of key things to calculate, you know, um, main important thing is the income versus expenditure. So um, whatever rental income that you come in, 
how do you actually really control and budget the repay and also budget the expenditure that you have, the bank loans or whatever. So to cover then eventually you profit from it. That require kind of, you know, accounting, uh, you know, I mean, practice that you're going to do yourself. So in a way, we found that, I mean, these key three elements is the experience of any one landlord will go through. So in the in, in our past experience, yeah. Uh, thanks. Okay. So protecting in, in a way, you know, though, so what is what is protecting in a way? Protecting you you is like the first thing most important, award unknown modification. I would categorize. Why? Uh, in my experience is that many times when we rented a property to to the tenants, you know, even you had a proper agreement with them. And that, that also quite depending on the country policy. And some country have a good uh, you know a landlord law to protect. Uh, the landlord, some do not have, you know, some uh, disputable, some very hard to actually even recover every damages that they make. So in a way, we found that in the past 20 years, you know, sometimes you rented to, uh, you know, a certain tenants and they come in and then you do not even aware and know that they actually change some structure, you know, break the wall and break the wall, put some bar on top, you know, or maybe change the paintings, you know, or maybe change the furniture if you are fully furnished, you know. So you, you never know. But by the time when they are leaving, that is the time that most of the headache points increase if you cannot really have something to control at, at the beginning. Yeah. So early detection will give you a lot of uh, good uh, control on the damages. So if you can early detect it, you can actually get, you know, before the tenancy uh, end, you can always go inside to talk about, hey, you know, what's wrong with that? You know, we are not in the agreement. What, why why something has been done? You can even take certain actions to ensure that it won't deteriorate further. I mean, in terms of your properties, I mean, uh, in, in, in within the tenancy agreement. So that's a key thing that you want to do early inspection before you can really early detection and inspection before you can really discover by the end of the tenancy. So some people will give the your property agent to do an inspection by three months, six months. Some people do it uh, by nine months. You never know. But I mean, sometimes because of privacy or the tenants are not around, you can't see anything at all. So that, that's a key point as well. And of course, you've got unfriendly illegal activity. That's very, very usual today. So people uh, rented your properties, they, they call themselves to be just only uh, going for uh, administration work or education work, you know, eventually they, they sub rent it for partying and sometimes they're going for some illegal casino, you know, I mean, to, to put inside. Uh, it may be also for the youngsters who come to, you know, I mean, some people who like to have a parties, drug parties, that may be a major problem as well if you do not know what is inside all the time. Yeah. So again, perform inspection is very important. You need to do routine inspection. You you need to assess about the, the tenants' uh, quality and characters in a way that you can custom, uh, you know, a, a, a monthly inspection, quarterly inspection, or half half yearly inspection, which is quite impossible at this point in time if without a tool. Yeah. And then most important is to balance back the privacy for the tenants. Because when you want to do the inspection at the same time, you must respect them. You know, I mean, they may have a right to say, you cannot keep on coming in, so I will do something for you. So what you need to do, the inspection is the key thing that you need to do on that from there. Yeah. Okay, next. Of course, then we'll be managing, you know, I mean, because so for any landlord like me, you know, that you you will you will face the same issue that sometimes they will call you, hey, you know, Joe, I got my pipe like leaking, um, bursting, you know, and then you got something, the, the ceiling there got some problems, you know, you may got a snakes inside your, your, your toilet, you know, so we're going to do with it. So sometimes some are the responsibility of the tenant, some are the responsibility for the landlord. So it's very difficult when, like I say again, one property you can manage well, two property, three properties when you keep growing, you know, I mean, for your own self, until you have 10 or 20. So that become a really a big issue. The rental become a serious affair for you and you're going to manage a lot of issue. Yeah. So well, who's going to do it? You, you, you know, I mean, the, the, it, it can be a dispute. It can be really talk about, you know, uh, who should be uh, taking care. And then most of the time, who is going to monitor it, ha it has been done. If the aircon is not working, if the heater is not working, if the pipe is bursting, to what level and uh, three days or two days you're going to solve it urgency or can be can can be waited for some time or even how do you lock the entire audit through together eventually there's no dispute from both sides because you, you mean that is the most important point when arguments come who fix who who who, who damage what things you know i mean who's the responsibility of it is it consumable or non-consumable that has been really a long time problem for the industry so something that all landlord will be facing like me together 
So of course, I mean, that's the key thing going back into like, how do you actually manage it? So without the tools, you're going to use a logbook, you're going to use some um, Excel, you use uh, the, the account balance sheet, you know, to really write down all the issue, all the bills, you know, how you're going to fix it, all this kind of stuff. This is going to be a lot of things. So you can't have 10, 20 block books all the time. So that is something that you even the skill like us today, you're talking about how can we have the tools to really, really something to manage it well together as well. You know, that's something that's important. Yeah. But Joe, actually just thinking about the part where you mentioned there's like, whether it's a tenant or a landlord's responsibility. Mm -hmm. So normally when you rent out the property, is it something that you will put it in an agreement or is like, it's more like a verbal agreement between the landlord and the tenant to say that, okay, um, you have to do these certain things. How, how do you normally handle that? Good it? question. Actually, different countries have a different tenancy law. I think most important, uh, the basic standard, uh, I mean, the tenancy agreement or the condition and the terms are agreed and also signed upon when the renter. So it's like what I'm trying to say, you do not know. I mean, whether they will own it or not, they will walk away, you know. So that's why some countries have a good insurance to cover it. So some countries do not have that. So in a way, if you do not have that, so what is going to do with it? Again, how can you claim full? So even they may agree, say, I'm not going to change the wall and anything paintings, I'm going to repay, re repay and, and do back for you. But what if they run away? So in a way, even bankruptcy rules, you know, you need to be how much in order to really make sure that they can, they can be, uh, you know, liable for it. So sometimes if the fix is only about $5,000, but I mean, the, the bankruptcy rules in a country is, can be $30,000. So you're not going to do anything. The most is that, you may want to rely on the blacklisting for the country policy if uh, for the tenants. If not, you can't do anything. So that's a risk that you're, 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 you're having even you put into the term as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that's a, that's a, that's a very common issue that I would say all landlords are facing these days as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> because that's, that's why I heard from some of my friends, which is renting a mm -hmm. property. They also mentioned it's like, wow, well, it's very hard to you know, have, a, have a proper agreement with the tenant because end of the day when they get back the property yep. it's really you have to spend a lot of money just to fixing it exactly exactly so into the third, third slide you know if you look into the profit thing so i mean it's very important so when, when we talk about profit whenever you want to do real invest so you you have the the, the mindset the business mindset to talk about if i invest in the property for five hundred thousand dollars you know so i hope in 10 years time it's going to be eight hundred thousand and nine hundred thousand so in between now most important is that the concept of people is like if i got the deposit i can pay for it if i can manage the rental i can pay for the bank loan so basically i mean the rental is actually covering the bank loan and the installment and then you can profit from it from the capital and eventually you may be able even to use the extra cash flow when the rental keep going up to cover the bank loan and reclaim the property as fully redeemed. So that's the important of property profiting, I mean, whatever rental business they're about. But the problem is it is not always, you know, I mean, like as what we, we, we wish, you know, the first thing is that do you have timely collection? Not to mention about what can see with, you know, that in the in between three months or six month time, when one move up, the next two is going to move in. So it's very depending on country. Some can be in one week or two weeks that you've got someone to take over. Some you may need to wait for three months or six months. That's all depending. Yeah. Timely collection is very important because everything is cash flow. We know that in business, you know, no matter in what business, if without cash flow, you can't do much. So in the rental business, if you're acquiring, I mean, a few properties to start managing like real business for your own self. So you've got to also ensure that the cash flow come in timing, timely, that you can pay for all the expenditure. Unless you are really, uh, you know, into a good position, all these properties are fully, uh, you know, I mean, like uh, redeemed. So you don't have any loan on top of that. So that's very depending. Okay, so recording your expenses, you know, so because you're talking about you got council rate, you got um, taxes, you got water rate, you got, um, uh, you know, I mean, strata title fees, you know, you got uh, management fees. There's a lot of fees they're going to pay for it as well. So for all these kind of expenses, you know, you got to really put down property in order to understand which property that you're profiting from it. So you're going to get a 3000 uh, yield from a rental per month. So after deducting, you know, I mean, how much that you, you actually can profit from it. So some payment is money, but some payment can be yearly and some payment can be even to talk about depreciating your furnitures if you are renting out fully furnished inside the property. So these are all the things that you got to really budget and to really record. If not, you don't have a hand on that at all. So unless you don't build as a, I mean, a, a, as a, a like serious business to me, I feel that you got to do it very focused, very serious. Then you only can really benefit from it. 
Yeah. So taking care of profit and loss is very important, like I just mentioned. And then you got a budget. You know, it's why why you say budget is that you know every time people come in and go one year, two years, three years, you you are very lucky if you got someone to run for you 10 years or 15 years. But most of the time people will move in and move out. But because of that, you also need to understand that you know every time people move out, what is the the maintenance fixes repair and even things that depreciate you have to change you know let's say a sofa has been three years and then it's already damaged so you can't you want to fix back one what kind of like common budget you can allocate to make this business i mean the cash flow positive so you got all these things that you need to record down as well yeah and then um eventually the most important is the check-in check-out function you know i mean every time people will go and in and out if you look at it in the hotel you go in and out so they have a proper front desk, you know, they have a, you know, a, a professional people, they have a property management system on the front front office systems to allow you to look at to what is the all things that you need to put in, all the bills, telephone bills, mini bar bills, you know, even the 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 fixes if they go and check anything goes wrong. So these are the things you need to really uh, manage, you know, in a way. So if you can manage it with a click of a second, that's the good tools that you need to. If not, think about it again, like, let's say, for example, you've got five properties, 10 properties 15 properties you may not still achieve a big boy status but in a way you're going to manage a lot of check-in check-out the worst to say that if you got certain things that to be airbnb to go for three months or six months or even two months then you got to do a lot of this stuff so the critical thing is that how to make life easier at the same time it can be really helpful for the landlord to really protect manage and profit from it so that's the most important. And the last part of profiting is that is the tax reporting. So you can't run away unless you, you legally avoid taxes. In every country, you've got to report a tax. Some, some people say tax is something that you can't avoid in anyone's life, life, you know, in their milestone. So you can't go away. So but when doing the reporting, that's key things come again. You're gonna pay a lot of money to the to the to the to the tax auditor, you know, to help you to do that. Or you're going to have a proper, you know, I mean, all the uh, uh, segregation, you know, all the expenditure until you know what kind of profit that you have. You can just submit it when you need it, you know, especially you got three to five properties, you can do it. So why pay more? So if you can do it, why pay more? Unless I would say, if you are properly, you got to you just manage it part time. So you got to own full time job. Then you got no time to it. Sometimes you want to pay for people to help you to do all this kind of like tax computation. But if you got all this ready, you set a lot of life because by the time of the, the the tax reporting season, one click away, everything is done. So that's the crucial thing I would say that you need to have the tools you know for today. I found that it's a strong missing gap in between for the landlord who can really have this kind of tools to to really do well you know in in this business when they really view it and want to do it as a pro. So as a result, you know that like uh, what John mentioned that so. Well, well, we found too much of this problem and we can't find a tool in the market. And we found that, well, why not? So we try to create something that the market need. We try to create something, you know, to keep on listening to the landlord, to the tenant, to be fair to the tenant as well. So beside the big boy system, how can we have something that, you know, it's just like a uh, in between two parties so they can really manage well. So if eventually you got a you got a happy landlord, you got a happy tenant. So you got both sides happy because both have achieved their objective. So the key point is that you need something, a tools to really help you very swift and very handy that you can put in the pocket. That's why we come back, come up with this this solution to help. Yeah. So basically, basically, because from from what I see is that when we're talking about profiting. You're talking about recording expenses, taking care of the profit and loss. Mm -hmm. I'm sure because for based on your busy schedule in your own business, you also take a lot of times for you to, you know, if you need to do this kind of uh, recording. So is this something that that is why you came up with this idea of uh, creating land? Yeah, yeah, yeah. App? Yeah, Look, you you got to do a recording set anyway. Like I say, you know, you got to use a log book. You're gonna use a you know the 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 handphone that you can really put in the log and upload the receipt for both data to view. So now the most simple way is that today people transforming from physical re re receipt receipt you know to pour, uh, send to over to you. Then maybe like talk about what apps you know, or maybe using um Facebook messaging. I can just attach a scan copy and send to you. Things are getting very automated. However, how do you organize all these things? Is the important key thing. 
So end of the day, you need to organize back, sit back, to look back what is the law from it. It's a serious business. So I, I always think that if every time a particular transaction and issue has started, if you can lock it and fix it at this point, you don't have to really wait until the end. So when you wait until the end, it's going to be a very tough job that you can't, you need to get back all the notes, the minutes, you know. So what it's going to do and then try to table out, I mean, like a report back, you know, for both parties is so difficult. It's so difficult. So that's yeah, why that's a right. tool is needed, definitely needed. But how to be easy to use that you can really manage it, all your properties while you, you, you're just having a coffee, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, in, in a mall. That's, that's the, I think the lifestyle everyone would, would, would love to have. But how do you really have that kind of like powerful, tool, powerful tools, I would say, that really you know, just set the most three main important thing. How do you, uh, you know, I mean, like uh, protect your capital, your asset. How do you manage it well with the tools? And most importantly, how do you profit from it? So that's the key thing lead us to really think of a landlord one, two, three apps. You know? so why not? You know, we, we found that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm, Okay. So that, that's, that's the that's the that's Sorry. the that's the the, the 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 detail of it. You know, in the case that uh, if my experience help, so if you think that you know there's something that worth for you to go and take a look with this app. You know, in fact, I mean, uh, we have a light version, we have a, a professional version. Most of the time, the light version is free. You know, for you to use to test out. So you can test out and see how it can really improve your life. I would say. So it's a key critical um, problems that. Um, it's a real problem, I would say, that outside every landlord is suffering, to be honest. Yeah. So it is also need a very good handy tools. So something that is very cost effective, handy tools to be put in the pocket and walk and go and manage it, just like a pro. So I, I, I would say it I highly recommend, I mean the landlord, I mean people like me, take a look, you know, I mean have a look and, and see how you can DIY yourself. And eventually, even if you have agents to help you, you can still using the apps, you know, to really become managing all your property at once, really at a very tiny cost, that I mean, that you, you need to pay, yeah. Yeah, so maybe for the benefit of all the mm -hmm. audience in this webinar now, so basically, um, we can say there's like, Landlord123 is basically one, one of the main app that a landlord should be considering mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you'll be able to manage the, uh, their property like a pro, right? right. So, but then, but if, uh, if let's say we want to talk about how the landlord can benefit from using the app. So can we say that this is something that it will help them to minimize the, the attention that they have to give on to their property because they don't have to like, spend so much time like what, what, what you mentioned just now in the profiting, we have to do so many things. So with the app, is this something that we can say it can help them to minimize all this work? Good question. I mean, that, that's the, the key basic thing. I mean, let's forget about even the basic point of, you know, we are talking about uh, protect, manage, and also uh, profiting. So the most important is how, what automation can help. So any smart system application, I believe that even the professional property management system that for the big boys, you know, eventually first is to help you to really ease your life. So because when you are managing so many things, how can it really help you to come and ease your life to save the cost? eventually to talk about if you really use a lengthy, lengthy organizer and refill, refill, refill I mean, paper, that's cost and that's time that you need to keep on so many folders on it. So just imagine that if you can make this kind of like small secretary in your pocket, so that makes your life very easy. That's the automation purpose. But the main objective, it goes back is to really, you know, how to protect your, your capital, how to manage it like a pro, you know, I mean, to keep all the audit through. And eventually, how do you actually really have an accountant also in your pocket? So that's why we try to combine these three um, professional, you know, inspection people, you know, I mean, managing people like agents and also, I mean, the, 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 the profiting, I mean, the accounting people to partly even help you to collection. You know, because how do you actually remind the tenant to pay collection? So important point in this app as well. So in order to really have a collection strategy in a way to make your cash flow even better. So that's the point that I missed at the meeting during the, the slide to, to discuss. So we have a very good, uh, I mean, like, um, like a knowledge that we think that we're all facing the collection problem. But if you're going to re remind them earlier, you have a better chance to collect on time. If you're going to remind later, then you're going to be even dragging further and further. So that's the order, the, the, the knowledge that we're going to insight as well. 
but perhaps one day we can put some artificial intelligence. We are not so sure if we can really build um, a knowledge to learn about the tenants, uh, I mean, uh, uh, behavior and characters, payment behavior collectors in different countries. That would be something that really uh, making a, a, a good strike, you know, for the system further. Yeah, that would be very helpful because yeah. I'm, I'm sure a lot of landlords will need these kind of things to yeah. help them. Yeah, all our friends is uh, we, we, is holding because I mean, to be honest, everyone want to be be, be tycoon. So everyone want to make you got to start something. So some people are lucky to have a unicorn startup. Some you don't. Some you work from the bottom. So when you work from the bottom, you're gonna buy. You know, I mean, accumulate assets. You know. So some people maybe not just own the property, but some people prefer everything in properties because physically they like it. So some people prefer to have different. You know, investment portfolio that you got to have so many things to see. So without the tools, it's so hard. End of the day, you may think that the, 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 the beautiful thing is just one button. You can just see the reports that everything you have. That's what we want to achieve as well. Just look into the one button, then you can keep look at all the properties from, from what you're managing. Is it profiting? Is it collection on time? Do you have all the, all the issue resolved? You know? So everything keeps safely. Even if the tax officer comes to look for you, hey, I got everything ready. I don't have to, I don't have to be really, uh, you know, pass it in the headaches to keep on talking to them. Everything is ready <laughs> with a uh, one click. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I guess that's all the sharing that we have uh, from Joe for today. No problem. So thanks a lot for your time, Joe. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So for all our attendees, thanks for your time. And do check out the Landlord 123 apps if you are yep. into managing your rental properties. Right? And we hope we can Thank really you, help. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Yong. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.